Hello, podcast world. Welcome to my channel. It is 12-21-2020 at 2.17 a.m. And I'm just here to talk about, whoo, that smell. That musty, pussy smell. Like, oh my gosh, ladies, what's up? What's up? We're we talking about hygiene. We're talking about hygiene. We're talking about washing that, that ass, you know? And fellas, you not exempt. We talking about you too. We want you to wash that air. Like, man, keep your nuts clean, my nigga. So, listen, just the other day, you know, I'm here, I'm here, helping out a friend. Um, I don't understand the issue, but they come over using my computer, and all I can say is they use my bathroom, and... Um, well, when they first get here, you know, I have a sensitive nose, I have a sense of, sense of smell, uh, I keep my apartment clean, and I burn candles and stuff, you know, and I got the Glade plug in, plugged up and whatnot, and I'm already frowning upon those who smoke because of the smell, you know, we don't smell good, we stink, but, you know, smokers don't understand that because... If you smoke, you don't have a sense of smell. It's like you, you you okay with the fact that the smell of whatever is horrible. Like, oh my God. And then if you come over and you smell like you ain't bathed in like three days, you know, like, oh my God, I can't believe it. So then when she goes to the bathroom and she leaves and when I go in there to check my bathroom, it almost killed me. That musty pussy smell. Like, oh my god. I don't understand. Like, this, this is a PSA today. To tell you, all of you who are out there, you need to you need to figure something out. You can't be going around with that musty pussy smell. You can't be going around unclean, unbathed. You know, like you going around somebody in public or whatever the case is. You need to figure out a way to wash your ass, you know. I mean, if you live in a house and you happen to not have water, like, they sell water now, you know what I'm saying? Like, you could go get a jug of water for, like, less than a dollar and make that work, you know. Get you get you some soap and water and washy, 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 you know what I'm saying? Wishy-washy with it, you know. And that right there in itself is, like, worst case scenario you know what i'm saying like i don't care how you uh gotta do it even if you gotta go uh to a friend's house and, and wash your ass you know what i'm saying like that's what you gotta do you know what i'm saying or like wh whatever the case is i didn't had too many incidents in my lifetime to where a female didn't wash her ass or you know like they were living on the edge and they was like you know broke and couldn't pay their water bill which is i'll never understand that you know i'll never understand that somebody not being able to pay certain essential bills like fucking water like are you fucking serious like are you kidding me water i mean water be like one of the cheapest bills you know like if your water bill over forty dollars like <laughs> What is you doing, you know? I mean, fortunately, in the apartments I stay in, water is free, and that's the case in a lot of apartments, water being free, um, which it should be, you know? Um, and I feel that should be like a universal free thing. It's not every day that you come across to where, um, you know, like water, you know what I'm saying? <sighs> Yes, water. Got to take a drink on that one, you know. It's one thing about this talking on a podcast or whatever. The, the more you talk, the thirstier you get. <clears throat> it always seems like it feels like something is in your throat or getting caught in your throat or, or whatever the situation is, you know. Like having something to drink like water or tea or wine or whatever is one of the things that I've seen suggested um, 
how to create a podcast, having something to drink around you. And I try to keep a bottle of water around me at all times, you know, within arm's reach. So, um, you know, I mean, before I started this podcast, I started, uh, had made like a, a, it was grape Kool-Aid and oh man, I had made my own little personal cup, um, and, and, you know, sugar and everything in it, it's nice and sweet, put some ice in it. Oh man, it was good. <laughs> I was sipping on it. Then it had a, uh, you know, by the time I was finished or whatever, the ice is still in there. So I just poured a little bottle of water in there and kept it going. You know, it still has a, the essence and flavor behind it. So cool, cool, cool. Now, ladies, one of the things that I had come across is I've come across chicks who haven't like didn't have water or didn't want to be able to shower and they put powder down there you know what I'm saying I was like ew you know when I when I kind of when I had learned of what was going on cause we did it you know if somebody had met we ended up doing it in the back seat so they were like oh you know I got powder on you know duh, 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 duh. and like <laughs> I would think that out of respect for yourself, this is how you know a person ain't got to respect for themselves, that you would be like, man, let me find a way to, uh, like, take a shower, you know what I'm saying? So, I feel like with, with her knowing that, that, you know, they couldn't take a shower, because we couldn't, we couldn't go back to my place, you know, like, at that point in time, I still stay with my mom. I probably could have, if I'd have known, you know, I know I could have taken her to somebody's house that uh, would allow for us to uh, take her a shower. Probably my sister's house or something. But, no, you know, I don't know what to say about that. It's, it's crazy. You gotta, you gotta have, uh, like, a duck off every now and again, you know. And, if you, Depending on, um, it's like I say, now that I live by myself, it's like a shower is right here, shower ready. If she would have been like, oh, can I take a shower in your place? I would have been like, cool, you know, soap collection ready. Like, now it's like, I ain't even friends with her no more. <laughs> that musty pussy smell that killed me, and I was like, I will not give it a chance to come over here and, and use my bathroom and kill me again. And thinking that it's okay, like you over here, uh, and thinking walk around with that woo wee smell uh, between your legs, you know what I'm saying? And like just ugh, like no, 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 it's not the way it goes. <laughs> like what are you thinking? You, you what? <laughs> you got the musty pussy smell. Uh, yeah, you need to take care of that. <laughs> like, oh my god, you got to go. <laughs> you gotta go, you gotta go. Uh, like, that's one thing I don't understand when it comes down to females. Like, you gotta, like, a dude uh, being kind of musty or whatever, like, a dude that kind of stank a little bit or whatever, that's different. But as a female or whatever, when that thing get the stinking, you get this, get the, that musty pussy smell, get the, get the uh, riling up or whatever. Like you gotta, you gotta do something about that. Like oh my god, I swear, like a musty pussy will kill you. And then you know, it's people out there that think they should get some head, knowing they got that musty pussy smell. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, it's it's horrible. It's, it's like, what are you going to do at the end of the day when when you stay, you know? Are you going to go somewhere and take care of that bad hygiene, you know? That, that pee poor uh, pooty, that, 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 that monster you got down there, that wolf pussy? That wolf pussy, you know what I'm saying? Like, what the heck are you... Th- Excuse me. Like, what are you thinking? Sometimes you just gotta deal with it. 
<sighs> Ratchet hygiene, you know. And it's like, how do you go from being a clean person to being sloppy fat and having a f- and, 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 and musty pussy smell? So, sorry, not sorry. This is for everybody out there. And another thing is, like, they talk about should you dish or should you not dish, you know? And I guess that is the question because... Me personally, I believe in the dishing. I feel like after you have your cycle, it still be some mm up in there that you need to use the, that for, you know. And it's a 50 50 thing because some uh, uh, gynecologists are like, no, you know, you're already being cleansed naturally, blah, 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 blah. But, you know, that's what they make it for, you know. Like, oh my gosh, especially if you strongly sexually active or whatever, and you're not using condoms, and you have an unprotected sex, and um, men or your boyfriend or whatever sexual partner you messing with, one person or, or, or more, you know, uh, and they just uh, finishing in you, you know, like, you need to... Uh, I mean, you need to clean that out. You need to clean it out, really, every time someone uh, finishes in you, you know? Like, you need to get, because, I mean, otherwise, it's like, um, like, you not, uh, okay, let's say that uh, that happens, they finish in you or whatever, you, and it's just sitting there for at least an hour, 30 minutes, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's the marinated up in that thing, you know what I'm saying? You need to go and, uh, like, I feel like in order to get your, that thing clean correctly or whatever, you should have, um, something should go inside it, you know what I'm saying? It is an inside thing, so something should go inside and, and, you know, kill the germs or spread the soap or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Like, that should, something should go inside or whatever. And if you just wiping the outer parts and kind of sticking the tip of your finger in there, you're not, you're not cleaning it good or whatever. That's just like with an asshole, you know what I'm saying? Like, you, you got to get the finger in there a little bit, you know? Like, when you, when you wipe it or whatever, you definitely got to get up in there in the crevices or whatever. And sometimes, you know what I'm saying, it, you know, you take the towel and you look at it and it's clay dookie, you know, and you, you know, you, no matter how much you seem like you wiping or whatever, it's still, you know, like trace evidence of it. So you got to make sure that you, uh, spreading your cheeks good and getting all of that, you know, you don't want any skids, <laughs> you don't want your uh, underwear to be all brounded. Which, I don't understand that with females, like, man, you wear the same leggings for, like, days at a time, and, like, when you, when you, when you open it up in the white area, it's all brounded, you know, like, that's disgusting. I mean, it should, no man should have to deal with that. No woman should have to deal with that, you know, the, the, the poor hygiene, I don't know where you get that from, I don't know what kind of household you grew up in. Um, but, you know, like, it's lazy, <laughs> and I don't, I don't, I can't, you know what I'm saying, some people try to pick on, like, the big people or whatever, but it's not just y'all, it's some, um, it's some skinny bitches out there that's not washing good, it's some skinny niggas out there that's not, uh, cleaning themselves good, you know, it's, you know, like, like, with dudes or whatever, you know, they can get comfortable to the point where they don't, they don't notice, you know, it's not like freaking, uh, Frito chips and, and Funyuns and, and gym socks and stuff, you know what I'm saying, like, when you start becoming a, a, a teenager, you know what I'm saying, you start becoming a, a young man, a young woman, and you're let alone becoming to the point where you, you know, you grown and you working or whatever, like, you, you stink, <laughs> Like, you just automatically, instantaneously stink. And then for a woman, you know, the word and phrase pH balance comes into play. And, 
like if you're not cleaning yourself good yeah that's part of it you know you don't hear people be like oh your ph balance is off well that's a possibility but that's a whole different factor your ph balance is off man you you got that musty pussy now I, last time I'm gonna say she got that musty pussy you know what I'm saying he got them sweaty musty salty balls um please do something about it don't forget to like comment subscribe tune into my channel tune into this uh, 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 podcast and listen to what I have to say because every day every time you turn around you have some some something 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 that you could definitely be checking out on the podcast I appreciate y'all thank you thank you thank you and uh yeah in peace hello youtube world welcome to my channel don't forget to like comment subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can be notified when i drop hot content like this and stay tuned for the next video